Hello everyone, it's Dawn here. I'm so sorry for my absence, but I've been dealing with a family death and that's been longer than I thought it might do, but I think we've got it done now. So we're back to our videos and our tutorials. And we're going to start this new series this week of painting tree trunks and later on foliage in detail with our watercolour pencils. And some people make the mistake, especially people who are new to painting trees, they do the tree trunk all brown. And I'm going to show you why it might be better not to do it all brown. And I'm going to use an olive green. And I'm going to start off by shading my olive green over my tree trunk quite loosely. I'm not doing it too neatly. I'm trying not to go over the lines too much, but if we do a little bit, it's no big deal. So we're going to do that and I have painted in our drawing a little bit of a branch so we're going to shade that up there as well and then I'm going to put my green over there and I'm going to take a brown this is just an ordinary standard mid brown that you'll have in your collection of pencils and we're going to shade that over the top of the green ever so slightly bearing down with more pressure but just a little bit not much just slightly more pressure with the brown than there is with the green. And we're going to do that over the branch as well. And then we're going to pop that back in our tin or our box. And we're going to blend that with some water. And you'll see that we get a very natural looking colour for our tree trunk if we use the green first. And then add the brown on top. It gives a much more natural tree trunk colour. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second, because what I'm going to do, in fact, we're going to do it right now because we're done with that. So there is our tree trunk. Just make sure we get rid of those lines. There is our rather natural looking tree trunk. But earlier on, just before I started recording, I did do one in just plain brown. And there it is. And if I just move that out of the way a minute and put that next to it, you can see that that looks a lot more natural than that does. So if we shade on a layer of green first and then go over it with our brown, you're going to get a much more natural looking tree trunk. And tomorrow I'll show you another technique for painting tree trunks. So please do come back and join me for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, have fun with your painting and enjoy the rest of your day. And until tomorrow, bye bye. 